Welcome back to the Crypto Bot Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is still running into this critical support, while Bitcoin is potentially repeating history, which I'll talk about in just a moment, so definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a really quick update here on the four-day Bitcoin chart. And right now, the price of Bitcoin is still playing out this larger bearish divergence, which is simply causing a shorter-term pullback within the larger multi-month long bullish trend. And so basically, over the last one day, nothing has really changed here on the four-day time frame. So zooming straight into the daily Bitcoin chart, and what we can see right here is obviously this small rejection still continuing from this strong resistance. And on top of that, we also have an active bearish divergence as well here on the daily time frame. And so once again, as I've been saying over the last couple of weeks, it's unlikely we're going to see any significant bullish momentum, at least in the shorter term here. And instead, it's much more likely we're going to see either some choppy sideways price action, if not a slight pullback in the price of Bitcoin due to this larger bearish divergence. And so this is essentially resulting in a shorter term bearish trend now playing out just here on the smaller time frames. But with that being said, if you're looking at the momentum in the daily Bitcoin MACD, this is still showing very low momentum, which means we should not necessarily expect a massive crash like what we saw at some of these previous movements. And instead, once again, we're likely going to see relatively mild price action in the short term. So this slight short term bearish trend that we've been seeing over the last couple of weeks. But while the price of Bitcoin is playing out this shorter term bearish trend similar to what we saw back here, we are also potentially forming a similar falling wedge pattern in the price of Bitcoin like what we saw back here. And if you're looking at the support and resistance levels for this falling wedge pattern, right now the support level is sitting at around 28.7k and the resistance is sitting at around 29,500. And so basically we would need to see a confirmed breakout well above 29.5k in order to actually confirm firm this falling wedge pattern. And statistically speaking, a falling wedge pattern is a bullish pattern because around two thirds of the time, a falling wedge breaks out to the upside and around a third of the time, this type of pattern breaks out to the downside. And so obviously it's not impossible for a falling wedge to break to the downside, but that's just a less likely scenario. And now if we do end up seeing a break to the downside, then essentially that invalidates the bullish pattern altogether. But if if we see a confirmed breakout above that level of resistance, then in that case, that would set up a technical price target, which is at the top of the wedge, sitting at around 31 and a half thousand approximately. And obviously, we can see how this previous falling wedge pattern played out. We basically saw a straight move to the upside, straight to that technical price target towards that previous high. But once again, it is important to understand that we have no active bullish price target until we actually see a confirmed breakout above resistance resistance, which as of right now has not yet happened. So this pattern for now is not currently in play. And now if you're zooming into the eight hour Bitcoin chart, looking at the Fibonacci levels of support, we have the 38.2% Fibonacci level acting as support, still sitting at around 28.9K. So at least in the imminent short term here, that is the immediate level of support to pay attention to. But if we see a break below that level and below that support that I just mentioned on the daily time frame, then in that case, we have the 50% retracement level acting as support at around 28,000 to 28.1K. And if that support does not hold up in more of a bearish scenario, then in that case, we still have this area of support, the golden pocket sitting in between around 27,000 to 27.2K. And as for resistance, in case we see a bit of a short term bounce, then in that case, we should expect resistance at around 30,000 based on this previous Fibonacci level. And like what we saw, a few days ago just here. And now just staying on the eight hour time frame, and technically speaking, we still currently have a small bullish divergence active here in the shorter term, which basically means just in the imminent short term, talking about the coming days, we should not necessarily expect a lot of bearish momentum. And instead, we're likely going to see a bit of a pause from the short term bearish trend. So basically the opposite of the pause from the larger bullish trend that I just mentioned. And so once again, as 
always, it is important to understand the difference between the different time frames. So here on the much larger time frames, we're technically within a bullish trend, but due to these larger bearish divergences, we're actually taking a short term pause from the larger bullish trend. But if you're zooming into the smaller time frames, that short term pause looks more like a short term bearish trend. And right now, just in the imminent short term, we're basically taking a small pause from that short term bearish trend. But remember, overall, just in the shorter term here, we still have very limited momentum based on that daily MACD. So I would not necessarily expect a massive move, at least for now in the short term. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of ETH is still finding support at this important area of support sitting in between around 1770 to 1820. And if you're looking at the daily Ethereum price oscillators right now, the daily Ethereum RSI is looking neutral to bearish because it is starting to drift to the downside. But with that being said, it's not currently showing a lot of momentum. We're still basically chopping around sideways while the MACD is also showing very low momentum, at least for now. And if you're zooming into the eight hour ETH to US dollar chart, looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool from swing low to swing high, we have the 50% retracement level currently acting as important support sitting at around 1820 to 1830. But if we see a confirmed break back below around 1820 with candle closes back below that level, then in that case, we could likely see a drop down towards the golden pocket sitting in between around 1760 to 1770 approximately. And if the golden pocket does not hold up as support, then in that case, in more of a bearish scenario, we would likely find support at the 78.6% Fibonacci level sitting just above 1.7K, more specifically around 1710. And as for resistance, in case we actually see a bit more of a bounce from this 50% retracement level, then in that case, we should be expecting resistance at around 1870 to 1880. And above that level, in more of a bullish scenario, we should also find resistance at around 1930. But if you're zooming into the much shorter term, taking a look at the four hour chart, right now we still have this descending line of resistance sitting at around 1860 approximately. So just keep that in mind as well. Well, if we do end up seeing a bit more of a bounce in the short term, then once again, expect resistance at around 1860. But now if you want to know how to make a lot of money in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around it sideways like right now, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.